everybody, and welcome back to Gale's Pokemon Emerald Gym Challenge, where last time we had an extremely short episode because we had an extremely short gym battle. That's right, the horrifying fighting gym was so much easier than the horrifying rock gym. And this time I can't blame it on overleveling because Endeavor only leveled up to 21 after beating his last Pokemon and was level 20 the entire time, which is only one level above, and, you know, she got that during the gym. So I don't feel too bad about that. I feel like that was kind of the perfect, the, the, the perfect way that battle could have gone. That Machop constantly missing everything because of the double teams, the crits from focus energy really coming through, just the amount of damage that wing attack was able to do. It all worked pretty well for me. So now we're making it to Slateport. We gotta deliver these goods. These goods that we've been on this journey with for so long. Um, yeah, you know, I'm actually going to use Echo Voice. But we did pretty good and, you know, now I'm not so worried about the other uh, gym leaders because at least we got rid of the one that had the actual type advantage. Um, and I will be keeping to a strict level limit for these gym leaders. So the next gym is 24. Um, it could be a little tough. Uh, not because the gym is of a type that's uh, obnoxious um, against us. It's only a, an electric gym. But it's more of, uh, I believe Watson has some Magnemites. And, uh, yeah, that steel typing isn't great. But I think we'll be fine. I think that's just one of the ones where we'll have to brute force it down. And, you know, I believe, I believe in my team. If they could get through rock types, I believe they can get through electric types. How are you? I can't, I can't see you underneath this in large umbrella. Aw, you're a tiny tube child. YouTuber Haley sent out Meryl. I sent out my, my cuter round Pokemon. That's right, I'm putting Whismur above Meryl. And it's totally not because Whismur is on my team and I can't possibly catch a Meryl because it's not a normal type. It has nothing to do with that. Nothing at all. Ah, I just feel so much better knowing we got past those two gyms, because that's where, that's where theoretically this whole, this whole challenge fell apart. Now the only uh, real on paper difficult challenge to get through is. Uh, is Steven, and uh, I know that in this game he's not the champion. I, I do know that. I know they switched it to um, Wallace for reasons I don't understand. So they could have another water type dude? I don't know, because steel was too hard? Uh, but uh, yay, got YouTuber Ricky. But um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I, I do still want to challenge Steven. I know that you can do that in this game. You can go find him in maybe your falls, I believe, and battle him and he'll have a lot stronger Pokemon than the Elite Four and the Champion, um, which is scary. I think they're in, like, the 70s, and that's quite a bit of grinding, but, uh, I don't know, I feel like this challenge isn't complete if we don't face the toughest trainer the game has to offer. Like if I were to do... Oh, Echo Voice is evolving! Yay! <laughs> so cute! Who's it gonna be? It's gonna have big ears like Mickey Mouse! It's Loudry! Yay! You're still adorable, Echo Voice. 
And you'll be even more adorable when you're X-Bloud. I really do love the design of X-Bloud. But yeah, if I were to do a, like a, a gold, silver playthrough, well then I would base red on top of it on silver too, because it, you know, that's just part of the game. You don't... You don't go to... Oh, stop sand. You don't go to freaking Johto region and not face red on top of Mount Silver? You guys prevented me from being this item. I'm gonna wreck you now. YouTubers Laura and Chandler wanna battle with cute Pokemon. See, that's a normal type, but I can't... I wouldn't be able to reliably use it because... It, it can't evolve. <laughs> Due to the rules of my own, that's lucky I wouldn't be able to evolve. And that would be quite sad. That would be fun. Can you defeat Pokemon with only baby Pokemon? But yeah. So we're gonna... We're gonna see how far we could take it if we could beat all the rest of the gyms and then inevitably beat Steven. Which would be terrifying because even yeah even the, the worst well not worse necessarily but unfortunate thing is you know not all his pokemon are, are steel type right but the pokemon that aren't steel type are rock type so it's still awful <laughs> it's not like it got any better they're just a different breed of awful good job scratch Oh, covet. Even when you can move every turn, you don't move every turn. Wow. Did you get sand attacked or something? It's okay, covet. Mommy! Uh oh, too bad. That's going on the blog. YouTuber Lola, her vlog. Watch her get smacked down by this other trainer who only uses normal types. You, you only use normal types. Because you only have a zigzagoon. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have. Nope, Scratch does not have anything for me. Darn. Okay. Chased all of you. Did I get all the items? Yes. No, I legitimately, like this is my favorite region for a couple of reasons. One of them is that freaking, there's these beautiful little markets that sell Poké Dolls. Oh, Roxanne! Of Rustboro City, I heard from Brawley that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not think that I can't beat it. that I can't beat you. Wow. I promise I will shape up my gym so you may challenge us again. I hope you'll be looking forward to that occasion as much as me. No. No. I don't want to face you again. Oh, okay, I did get his. Okay. Rockin' Wiz, the big hit. Hard as rock. Reliable one, dad. <laughs> Technically, I have three gym leaders um, in my phone now. It's only because one's my dad. Rad neighbor, Brandon. Who's unknown because you don't know where he is. And then I've got three normal trainers. Man, I got so many friends. So many more friends than I have in real life. Ooh, six self burn. I'm actually here just. Oh, what is this? Wow, oh, this must be popular. Quick question this is a line, can't you see? I'm waiting in line. I'm waiting in line, guys. I'm sure it'll move eventually. Okay, that that's a. Uh, we all know that gag isn't going anywhere. Stern is not really a captain. But yeah, I really love how Cohen one has contests. I adore 
and battle tents in this one, in Emerald. Um, I adore just the addition of something else to do. Uh, I know battling is, you know, their bread and butter and the whole reason you come, but I don't know, I just, I thought the contests were really cool. Especially because there was like two parts to it and it seemed like there was more thought put into it. Like, you go into some of the later ones, like the musicals, and it just, it doesn't feel like there was a lot of thought. It felt like it was just something to do so you can like take pictures and be like, oh look my Pokemon dressed up and it's so cute. But there wasn't any like real thought put behind it. Whereas the contests have actual, like you can do combos and stuff to make the Pokemon look better. You have to actually feed it stuff to make it look into the right category. Got a powder jar. And it was just like, it was just a fun time. And you know, I know not a lot of people liked, um, liked the contest, but you know, I was one of those rare people who you know, did enjoy the contest, even if it wasn't visually, like, as appealing as contests are in the anime. Like, in there, I would totally be a contest star, are you kidding me? That stuff's, like, so cool and, like, cute at the same time. Oh! If it's anything like Oros, one of these people has a Sableye, which I can only hit with Uproar and Endeavor. Oh, and Echo Voice. Okay, so three of my Pokemon can hit it with one decent move, and that's Wing Attack. Everything else is kind of crappy, but that's okay. We'll beat it when we get to it. But yeah, that's just one of the reasons why I love Hoenn the best. And I totally plan to make a video of my like top 10, well, not top 10, the top 7 <laughs> regions of Pokemon and Pokemon order. But yeah, no, Hoenn's just great. It's just so colorful and wonderful. And I'm, you know what, maybe I'm alone in this, but I think the Pokemon in this gen were some of the best designed ones. Like, the earlier gens were really simple. And that's good for some of them that were really, like, inspired. Like Charizard. Charizard's very simple, but he's also, you know, it's just a dragon. It's just a really cool fire dragon. You don't need to get like more specific or more detailed than that. Like that's already a cool concept. And then there are some like Psyduck and Co where you know, yes, they're they're adorable and wonderful, but they're very simplistic. Very much one's a rubber duck, and the other is a seal. Goldeen is a fish. They don't get very. They're not very, uh, fantastical designs. And, you know, that was a limitation of what kind of the thing was. They weren't, like, Digimon, where they're supposed to be these intense monsters. These are supposed to be real things that exist in the world, and, and you know... So I don't, like, knock them for it. They're very good Pokémon. I still love them. But in terms of designs, I feel like... Hoenn just has some of the, the coolest ones where you're just like, now I wish that was, <laughs> was a real thing. Like, I don't know what a Machop is, but it just looks like a little man with a tail and like a weird mohawk to me. And I'm not a real fan of the humanoid Pokemon. Then you look at Gardevoir, and she's just so pretty and like, elegant and looks like a psychic Pokemon, you know, kind of like Alakazam, you know, he just em embraces the psychic persona that I just, I think is really cool. Scratch is evolving! And yes, I even love Zigzagoon. I think, 
as a raccoon Pokemon. You know, it actually is, you know, basic in design, but it's really cute. So, like I said, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing to have a, a basic design. I just think I like the mixture between basic and new fantastical elements. Like, who doesn't love freaking Flygon? Flygon's amazing. Alright. Your speed's nice. Very nice speed. You guys are so cool. Mm. Uproar, let's go. You're cool too. But yeah, things like, um... My Deanna. It's a freaking dog, but it's a really cool looking dog. Swampert, Blaziken, Sceptile. I think these are my favorite starters just in looks because there's not one that I inherently despise and would never want, which is something that does come up in other gens. Not the first two. I think the first two are pretty good. Um, I think Sinnoh's got pretty good uh, starters. Um, but you know, uh, you know, uh, I just can't get by the Tepic line. I get it, and I'm sure some people really like it, but I, I'm definitely more of an elegant Pokemon kind of person. Um, I don't think there's anything more to do here. Uh, I'm more of an elegant kind of Pokemon person. I like designs that are more sleek and cool looking. So things like a Superior, I like Superior a, a lot. It's just, you know, it's a regal looking snake. It doesn't need to be anything more. It doesn't need to be bulky. And I hate fighting types just like as a principle, you know, because I love normal types. <laughs> fighting types just aren't elegant to me. So they're my least favorite type. So then you get something beefy and looks like a pig and I'm just like, you know, Ganondorf was, was a villain in his own game. <laughs> he doesn't need to be a villain in Pokemon too. <laughs> oh. I know, right? Sick burn on Embor. I've used Embor before, and it actually is a, it's a pretty, it's a good Pokemon. Like, it's, that is not, that is not a, a comment on the actual Pokemon. If you love Embor, then, you know, more power to you. It's a, it's a good Pokemon. It is a, it is a great Pokemon. But, um, <laughs> well, to be honest, I don't think any Pokemon is a bad Pokemon. But just in terms of my favorites, I don't like big bulky kind of buff Pokemon. Just just not my type. When they when the when those NPCs ask, oh what do you prefer? Cool or cute or strong Pokemon? I'm always like cute. I like my Pokemon to just be cute looking Pokemon that I can love and cherish forever. And then I'll train them to be stronger. I don't need base stats. Do you see my tail? Endeavor didn't need base stats. Endeavor just like ran through it. Who do I have up front? Up for? That's right. Oh yeah. Hi! What are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before. Remember? I think so. Was that in? No, rest for rest turf tunnel. Darn, you all look the same. That's not a that's that's not a a comment on your genericness as a person, but more a comment on your sprite work. Literally every sprite looks the same. Well, I'm glad you guys are learning though. Probably, but probably people would know I stole anything from the museum. 
our boss isn't here. Yeah, I'm sure he isn't. I love your hair color. It's a nice hair color. Oh, look at these ships. That beautiful pixel work of just ships. I'm gonna ignore you for a bit. I wanna look at the display. Close seawater. Towards the surface, seawater flows as currents driven by the winds. Near the bottom of the sea, water flows due to differences in such factors as temperature and salinity. Salinity being how salty it is. So if it plays a lot of League of Legends, the flow is quite fast. In the sea, the weight of water itself exerts pressure. In shallow water, the pressure is not very heavy. However, in extremely deep water, the pressure can reach even tens of thousands of tons on a small area. And fish still survive. It's quite miraculous. Deep sea is horrifying, but beautiful at the same time. Yes, if you're looking for a stone, that would be me. Generic scientist number 84. Oh, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. Or you could, if it weren't for these fools. <laughs> Hold it, we'll take those parts. But what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut, shut your yap and fork them over. No, guys, no. We're gonna have to stop you right there. As a gym leader, I cannot allow you to steal from this man that I just delivered these to. Like, literally two seconds ago. I, I went to a lot of trouble to get him here. I promised. Mr. Stone. Oh, uproar. It's okay. It's a fish. I know they're slippery. But as a bear, I feel like you should be super effective against fish. Because, you know, bears be fish. Because, historically in nature, that doesn't go too well for the fish. Ah! The kid beat me! With a bear! I should have known! Because I had a fish! Oh man, what a disaster! The boss is going to be furious! Hmm, sniveling wind. Let me take care of this. It's okay. You all look the same to me. All like sniveling wimps. Ha ha ha. Alright, up for Not the Zubats. I feel bad. I really love Zubats and Crobats. Not so much Crobats. Surprising, I know. Not rough skin. It's okay, F4. You have tough claws. What? I lost two. How could I have predicted that from the way that the battle went for my other friend? Now what? If we don't get the parts we're in for. Look, I didn't count on being meddled by some meddling kid. Oh no! Someone with a unique sprite! Could it be? Someone of importance? I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts and use simps. What? What is- what is a simp? Are held up by a mere child? We are Team Aqua. And we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader. Archie! What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be! You're not one of Team Magma! Oh no, they figured out- they figured out my affiliation. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. You don't have the- the red head band and red gear. You've got green stuff. Pokemon. People. All life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, oh, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't forget it! You're- Oh, okay! You're Gale! The normal type gym leader who's going to overtake Norman and become the champion of all Homeland, right? Like, that's- that's your goal? Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us! Oh yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon! You're a great male person, too! 
I handed over the goods. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've gotta go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities though. Aw, and he heals me. That's nice. I got six hex points back for uproar. This means getting cleared out really quick. Do you guys get any like business other than like grunts from evil organizations based on water? No? Alrighty then. Oh! It's that dude who like blew me off earlier. Huh. I'm sure I've met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess. You were the bee. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, this trainer. Alright, I think you're gonna become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenavs. What, my clothes are dirty enough for you now? What I like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people too, so I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Gail. I'm sorry guys, alive, that's my agent, Scott. He's the one who really runs the YouTube channel. You know, figures out everything for me, so I don't have to. Great. That's a name reader. I've got great nicknames. Who would argue with nicknames such as Uproar or Screech? Or echo voice. You know, that's not. These aren't pathetic names. They're great. Ooh. Hello. That Pokemon totally rules. It's cooler than any Pokemon. I was lipping off with a swagger in my step like that when the chairman chewed me out. That took the swagger out of my step. If you'd like, I teach a move swagger to a Pokemon of yours. Oh. No, no, thank you. Can't get in the spirit of it. I don't like swaggering. Do Pokemon enjoy having items used on them? Might act really happy when I gave it some protein. Hey, it's Screech! I love seeing Pokemon that love their trainers. They're very sensitive. If you treat your Pokemon with love, they'll love you back. Come show you when my Pokemon love you. It does adore me! A compassionate gift from the fan club. A soothe bell. To make them love me more. I'm behind you. If you keep leading a Pokemon faint, it'll resent it. Sooner or less trusting with the trainer. In other words, it certainly won't like you very much. Wow. It's plain to see you lavish love on your teddy or so. Oh, I do. Uproar is great. Sure, let's answer some questions. Also relates to beloved Teddy Ursa. What was it about Teddy Ursa that attracted you? Uh. Endings. This, this looks more like beginnings. Conditions. Um. It's because it was fabulous. Yes. Uproar is fabulous. Next question might be a little on the tough side. What do Pokemon mean to you? Um, Pokemon mean... Zubat. All Pokemon are Zubat. I see. Hmm. Okay, thanks for helping me out. It was fun and lining chatting with you. It's possible our interview will end up on TV. Tune in and check. Can I talk to you? I am the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can guess me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. But well, let me tell you about Pokemon characters. There are events where one can show a Pokemon for the world to see. However, they're held in far off towns, so I cannot participate often enough. Which is why we gather here to show off our Pokemon and have others show us theirs. Thoroughly, thoroughly entertaining. Thank you, sir. Well, I think we accomplished a lot in this episode, you know, learned a bit. Uh, I don't think I will be doing the battle tent. Oh. Oh, hey, if it isn't Gale. Yeah, let me guess, you're going to take the battle tent challenge? No, 
I was just passing by. Yeah, that's a really good idea. That's a really great idea. After all, a tough trainer is a perfect fit for the battle tent. Give it your best effort. Well, that was unexpected. Well, I guess that's where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, we, you know, got through a lot. Defeated some grunts. Got some, got some sodas. It was, you know, we went to a museum. We learned some things about seawater. So with that enormous amount of uh, accomplishment done in one episode, I feel like now would be a great time to uh, let you all go and continue on your daily lives as you endlessly wait for the next episode to come out. I know it, it, it must be so tough, but it will come. Alright, so that'll be it for today. I'll see you next time on Gale's Pokemon Emerald Gym Challenge. Bye bye